It was, it was from two different like posts or things that I saw that started this train of thought. So I saw um, Russell Wilson, um, you know, quarterback for the Seahawks for you know our international. Kawhi team. Leonard Jr. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got the straight backs right. Word, word. <laughs> I didn't even um, see that. I got that right, right? American, you know what I'm saying? Football. Yeah, for the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, all right. So, <laughs> that, I had to make sure. Because, nigga, you, I'll be like, yeah. His thing someone... is Formula One and soccer, y'all. Bro. <laughs> Basically. No, yeah. no, you mess and, so and much. Like, no, he plays for so and so and so and so. Like, relax. Word. Because niggas just be traded overnight. You never know. So, anyway, back to what I was talking about. He made a post about um, immigration. And he actually posted, like, um, a picture of, like, uh, um, like two corpses, like a, a child and somebody and. Um, they're saying he how he posted that. Yeah, and he was saying how you know th this is wrong. This shouldn't happen here. Da da da. And he made a point of he, he called himself the descendant of a slave. And I kind of hmm. and I, I kind of like you know I, I I see where he was coming from, but I didn't really that that didn't rub me the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just like, uh, we 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 go further back from that. What was you know the point what I'm saying? He was but anyway, but the point yeah. he was making was like. Um, everybody should have a chance here. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm. y'all, you know, going back, we all came here from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So that was his point. And of course, and the NFL fans, people were like, you should just do it legally, da, 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 but it's being assholes. Anyway. Or did they hit him with the stick the football shit? Of course. Probably. Yeah. Cause of you course. can't be more than two games, right? Oh, word. <laughs> I'm, 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 you're an athlete. Word. I'm I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see how far he takes it and if they try to do him like they do. Yeah, I hope he don't back now. Word. Like he's dated Sierra now, he gotta run. Word. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she gonna dance on his face. Exactly. <laughs> Word. So anyway. I mean that's good that he he at least I mean, either way he's bringing attention to mm, yeah. um the matter or more attention to the topic. Mm, you but, know. Anyway, to, mm -hmm. my bad to cut yeah, you, yeah, but yeah. to get back to to the the broader point, yeah. Um, I also saw, um, I was watching clips from the BT Awards, mm -hmm. and I saw one where um, y'all know Burner Boy, yeah, yeah. Um, from Nigeria, he he won um International Artist of the Year, so he's been killing it though, bro. Psh. He's from England, right? Bro, I'm low key addicted to that nigga music. Bro. Yeah, like, I've heard one song, bro. bro. You've heard his songs, bro. Bro, bro. you've heard his songs, um, bro. 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 Like I heard yeah, one song <laughs> and I went on a damn dive, bro. I'm yeah. like, this is some. I like this shit, cause I feel like this is how I would so sound if I tried it's to sing right. some shit. Yeah, <laughs> you oh, know why? Cause singer. he's he's smooth, bro, he mad he smooth, smooth, dog, smooth, sing, dog. rap, dog. Oh, okay, okay. Dog, he be like, it's real chill. You could smoke. He be you put one up, dog. He be, he, and just he, vibe to his shit. Word, you could he party be, to it at the same time. It's it's. Word, I don't know, he be it's, putting his little pato in there too, dog. Yeah, he mix it up. Everybody like, love like, pato. Dog, I see you, nigga. I know where you got that from, nigga. He has that song. We ain't gonna talk about you from you from the continent, so you know you got you you got the continent. I love that. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> his mom, he wasn't there. His mom accepted the award for him. So she said that um, his, him, hers and um, his overall message to all black people in America is that you're African before you're anything else. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was just like, yo. Mm. And I, I found it so interesting. Like I saw that like shortly after I saw like that, like... Mm -hmm. And I and I and I started thinking about the parallels, and I started thinking about like us as black people, like what do we see our identity as? Do we see it as like Africans? Do we see it as former slaves? And what does that feeling, or what does that identity? How does that translate into our like self value or who we I are? <clears throat> and and I feel like I feel like a big part of it is <clears throat> about you know what you know and what you've been taught. Mm. Because you know, from an early age, my pops always so you know, uh, my parents Jamaican, my background's Jamaican, and you know, pops always told us about you know the difference between us and right, black um black Americans, because he was like some um you know you have to be empathetic with black Americans because their their past and their slavery <clears throat> and all that was different from ours. Like we were never mm. in bondage. We were never it in the same we, we, way. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, let me say in the same way, like yeah. they were beaten, they were humiliated, they were raped. Like and we that, didn't, we didn't go through the same horror they did. Even word. though it was, it was horror, mm. but it wasn't the same. So you have to understand 
you have to empathize. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of foreigners, not just Jamaicans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Africans, whatever, they come over here and they just hate black Americans. Or they, they, or they look down upon Yeah, them. they look down upon them. Like, no, you have to understand what they went through, you know, what their or ancestors the, went through. But then that goes to show you what America does to black people, bro. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it still goes on. Like, with the education system, the the... The the what school to prison pipeline the justice system, like America America could could see could generate like definitely see like their their treatment of black people just based on because even like you, when you see and that's not even a knock on 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 saying it's not a knock makes it sound like a knock but like <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can say it's like a, it's a purposeful effort to keep black people at a certain level oh absolutely you know, you that's a saying? const that's been going on for you your mom your daddy everybody that's mm. that's that's been a thing with america always um uh, how can i word it like basically they're one step forward three step backwards but word. we were forced these steps backwards you word. know what i'm saying we didn't take them ourselves word so i feel like do you guys feel like that first step is that that sense? And I feel like it's happening, cause I feel like in the last couple of years, like <clears throat> black people as a whole, at, at least around me, or like you see in this country, like you mm -hmm. know, when you when you take you know a sample from social media and stuff, like you see people get more in tune with their their blackness, mm -hmm. um, their more proud, yeah, you know what I'm saying, more pride. In a, and you, but you still, you know, see the, the downfalls. You still see the colorism. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah. the, the race bias. But you know, it's it's coming on. And like we, what what I like about um, a, a approach that I see is it's like ownership mm -hmm. rather than hey, uh, help us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or give us a hand. You know, because that only went so far, and they're not going to give. They're not going to relinquish power. You know whether they consciously think they're doing that or not, and well, and when I say they, I'm being very obscure and you know. No, no, I yeah. understand. But um, some people don't look at it as a, <clears throat> look at it as a handout. They look at it as um like equality, like mm. give us what you have. Like let's mm. be equal and see who mm. really rises in everything. Yeah, because you know, same thing we spoke about last podcast. We had the same opportunities as them. We have the same outlets as them. As them. Mm -hmm. we, we would be just as successful as they are. Like, there's not even a question about yeah. that. Yeah, but then the real... You know what I'm saying? That, like, that's why I'm saying it's really a handout. It's like, you know, give me, like, you know, like, give me what, what I deserve. What you're, what you're owed, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What I'm owed, yeah. But then the thing is, the realization, I feel like, is that we, we have to take it. You know what I'm saying? And then, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to come to that, yeah. And in, that, course it is. And in that process... People are gonna get eight, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's it's like a it's it's a it's a double edged sword. Like yeah, it's like it's yeah. like you you try to milk it too much, and then it's like yeah, know, where it's like bro, you you basically saying so many people get lost that way as opposed to um the other way mm. because yeah yeah like you said if you if you fighting to take it like some people not about that so mm. and you post boot. You're supposed to be about everyone in your culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So no person left behind type thing. Word. It's not just black people I like, it's black people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. everybody. So yeah, yeah. No, that's that's facts. Word, dog, that's, that's big facts. big that what you just said, dog. Not just black people. A lot, dog. A lot of black people Yo. be turning their nose up, dog.